Hello friends, welcome back. In one of my previous tutorials, I had explained how we can use AI to create Excel formulas. In this tutorial, I would explain how we can use AI and that too without chat GPT to do some data analysis. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So this is my Excel file and I have the sample data. The data is about an electronic company selling some electronic products. So it has the date on which the product was sold, the number of units, the person who had made the deal and so on and so forth. So if you want to do some data analysis uh, previously, when we did not have this AI feature within Excel, we used to create pivot tables and pivot charts. That still we can do. But how we can make that faster using the inbuilt AI functionality within the Excel. So I'll be showing you this. So you should be in your home tab. And if you now go towards the extreme right, you come to this point where you could see analyze data. So you have to click on it and you could see on the left, the data has now been highlighted. So by default, the analyze data has been picking up from where it needs to analyze the data. And now if you just scroll down, it has a number of suggestions. I will explain you what are these. So if you come over here below discover insights, it is prompting me like it is telling me, do you want this kind of a data unit sold by salesperson name and product? And if I click on this insert pivot table, let's see what happens. Wow. The entire pivot table has the details of the salesperson name, the product which the person has sold. So earlier, when we did not have this AI feature, we had to manually create this kind of a pivot table. But with the help of this AI enabled analyze data feature within Excel to create this kind of a pivot table now has become a breeze. Now, once again, go back to the data tab on this analyze data panel. If you scroll down, there are a number of suggestions, like all these suggestions have been kicked in through the artificial intelligence tool within Excel. So if you need anything like any data, for example, units sold by sale person or any other data which is available over here, you, you just need to select that. And there are still more options. If you could see below, show all 36 results. If I just expand it, there are many more charts and tables which are available, but it is based on your choice. You could select and pull in the data which is meaningful for your requirement. For example, I'll give you another example. This one is units sold by salesperson uh, and it is helping me like it is prompting me. Do you want to insert the pivot chart? If I click on it, you see the pivot table along with the pivot chart gets created automatically. So the AI feature within Excel makes these kind of things like to create pivot tables and charts from your data set very easy and very efficient. Now a question would be coming to your mind like these are the samples, the suggestions which were provided by the analyze data tool. What if you want something which is not available within the list of suggestions? And that is an absolute beauty because using natural language, I repeat, using natural language, you could create the pivot table or the pivot chart which you need for your analysis. So let me explain that in detail. Once again, we'll go to the data tab. And when I say natural language, we need to just use English language over here in this text box over here when you do that you see some suggestions but what i'll do is like we will give a question in this text box and see whether excel is able to create the pivot table or the pivot chart which we are looking for for example i'm looking for something like uh, which sale person has sold which products and like what is the quantity of uh, products he has sold so using natural language i could put a question like this like units sold by product and salesperson name. The important part over here to note is like, since units sold, this column F, it has space be space in between. So it has been enclosed within single quotes and the columns names should match exactly with the data set. So units sold, product did not have any space. So I have just mentioned product as is, but the spelling of the column should remain the same. And salesperson name, again, it had a space in between. So I have enclosed it within single quotes. So let me hit this arrow button. Now it is giving me some suggestions. Now, if I click on this pivot chart, here you go. You get all the details. Like this is the pivot table. It, it, uh, it gives me the names of the salesperson and the products which the uh, salesperson has sold. Before wrapping up, let's take one final example, which is very important. Uh, now from this data set, if you need uh, 
to analyze like uh, the monthly units sold so for that what would be the prompt units sold by product and instead of sales person name i would write here month m o n t h yeah now if you see in this data set we do not have the month column but we do have the date column so let's see whether the ai within the excel can do this kind of an analysis or not so let's hit this arrow button you have you get the suggestion click on insert pivot chart and here you go beautiful if you see the pivot table you have the months listed and the number of units for each of the products which has been sold and below you get the pivot chart as well if you want to format the chart if you do not like something within the chart maybe just right click change chart style and whatever you like maybe column you could select column click on ok you will get the view so this was about the analyze data ai feature within excel which could make your data analysis very easy and efficient Guys, I hope you found my tutorial helpful. If you like my videos, I would request you to please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be able to see the latest videos I would be uploading. Guys, thanks for joining. I'll see you soon.